what up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to make a corn casserole how I make it this recipe is easy creamy cheesy all of the above and it's perfect for the holidays which is coming up so if you're interested you definitely want to keep watching so stay tuned all right got your box of vegetarian jiffy pour it in one can of drained corn i use the no salt added one one can of creamed corn one fourth cup of melted butter one cup of sour cream and then one egg with the sperm removed or the fertilized white thing removed. You don't have to add an egg, but I like to add an egg to mine. Cheese, please. I like to use this one with the Philadelphia cream cheese in it. It makes it more creamier and just more delicious -er. Anywho, I like to add some in. I just sprinkle some in just like that right there. Now we're gonna whisk. Well incorporated. Okay, that should be good. You want to make sure there's no crumbs of the cornbread hanging around in there. You want to make sure everything is well incorporated. All right, push that to the side. Bring your 9 by 13 pan in. So you are actually going to preheat your oven at 350. And then what you can do, you can melt down some butter or you can either rub butter in right before you put in the mix. I like to melt my butter in the oven while it's preheating. Um, just don't leave it in there the whole time or else it's gonna burn. That's actually what happened originally and I redid it. <laughs> Just being honest. That is all grease. Now we're gonna make the transfer, the transaction, like so. All right. Give it a little shaker roo right there. And add more cheese on top. This cheese is also good in macaroni and cheese. We make regular macaroni and cheese, it just gives it more creaminess. All right, cheese added. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. We are going to cover with foil. And we are gonna bake it for like 30 minutes, take it out, remove the foil, and then bake it for like five to 10 minutes without the foil so that the cheese can get crispy.com. Right. Now we are going to take the foil off and put it back in there. Like this for her. All right, it is all done. Thanksgivingjum.com. 